It's possible to make all sorts of um, bodies for your moving creature. And there's sort of an ant uh, type shape there. Insects are a fabulous topic for moving creatures and uh, the different adaptions insects have to the uh, habitat in which they live is, uh, is a fantastic thing about nature. So all we're going to need is some pieces of card and then we're going to need um, some ordinary masking tape or sticky tape to stick the card onto our moving frame. Now with um, sticky tape it's awful if uh, it looks awful if the sticky tape's all visible. We don't want anybody to see the sticky tape. So in order to create the body, what we're going to do is use that little technique where you fold the tape over and then make it sticky on both sides. So to do it, you need little pieces of tape and all you do is fold one over towards the middle, but not all the way, look. So like half into the middle. And then you fold the other bit on top of the first. And when you first do this, obviously it sticks your fingers together. But just carefully peel it off, look. And there you go. So if you want to stick this piece onto the frame. There you go. Now, that's not very attractive. It doesn't look like part of an insect. You're going to have to think of the shape of this part. And what could it be? Is it a tail, for example? Is it going to curl around and have a shape at the top and become a stinger or something like that, like on a scorpion? So fitting the bits of um, card on is quite straightforward. But you've got to think about what shape these are before you do it. Cut them to the right shape, maybe bend them to make them three dimensional and then take it from there. You can increase the strength of things as well by putting folds in them. So when you do that, that part there is immediately made stronger and more rigid. So have a think about that. There's our bit of tape there. And of course, if it was a stinger or a tail at the back end of the creature attached to the abdomen of the creature, then at the front of the creature, we may have its head and its jaws. And of course, the head shape could be made from other bits of card. If you use white card, well, that's fabulous because you can make it any colour you want. If you're limited by, you know, one piece of coloured card, then the whole thing can look a little bit samey. So white card and then coloured card bits quite often looks good. By the way, you might want a creature which is well and truly camouflaged uh, in its surroundings. So think about the colour it's going to be beforehand. What else? That's right. I've taken some little strips, look, and I've started to make little claw shapes. And then they could be bent up so that they stand up. So those claw shapes could be attached there. If you cut two of them out identically at the same time, just by folding the card over and cutting them simultaneously, then you've got two little claws there Something like a crab that i suppose and what about covering the main body we don't want anybody to be able to see the whole structure but we can't wrap the whole thing up otherwise the wheel could never power it so what we've got to do is we've got to cover it over now that's a piece of a5 card half of a normal sheet of card and it's a bit too wide but it's just the right length look because we need to curve it around the wheel. So we end up curving it something like that. And then using these edges to stick onto the um, plastic frame. So we'll, we might want to hold it, put a mark. Let's have a look, a pencil. Put a mark with a pencil. And then fold it along that mark. See, it's about there. Then cut that off. Of course, be thinking about the colour and the, the design on it. It might have some form of what? Scales or ribs or coloured markings. Like a butterfly's wings, they have very, very brightly coloured markings for a lot of butterflies. So that's now the same width 
that could be stuck onto there, that could be curled around and stuck onto there, and that creates the sort of main body of the creature. And then the tail, the claws, wings, whatever else can be attached on. There are all sorts of other things you can do, but just use your imagination, do a bit of experimentation. When you first do it, you might want to just use paper because you can do your tryout ideas in paper and then when you see what works and what doesn't, choose the best shape and make it in card. So if I did want to fit that piece of card under there, all I need is to do the sticky tape trick thing. There we go. You might want to put claws and that sort of thing on first, then put the body on top, but let's just skip that. We'll add a claw later perhaps. Oops. Oops. There it goes. Now try and line this up. Put a bit of a fold in it like that. Curl it round. Bit of a fold in it. It's looking a bit like a VW Beetle. There we are. Let's just try and see if it oh, jumped. Yeah, I think we we'll definitely need to weigh it down a little bit because the little engine's a bit too sort of powerful for it, if you like, bearing in mind how lightweight it is. Now, by the time you have added all the other features, claws, all manner of other things, let's just tuck them under there for now, look, and all manner of other things, including its eyes, then you will have weighed it down, and then hopefully you will be able to solve the problem of getting it to move. Let's have a look. What about some lovely eyes? Now, by the time you've finished, you could well come up with a fabulous design, a much better one than me, perhaps. And let's see all your creatures moving along the ground. Still haven't quite solved that problem about the friction, but maybe the elastic band around it could do it. But definitely adding more weight to it will solve the problem. Also, try to get it to tilt when you run it. So... If your creature keeps dropping forward and then this end would catch on the desk, then what we need to do is just move the wheel forward a little bit so you have more weight at the back and now the back end drops down. So there's the back end is heavier because the wheels move forward and then that might help it. Let's try and get that wheel nice and central. There we go. Give it a try. Let's see what ideas you come up with for the creature that you're going to design. Remember to try and make it fit in with a particular biome and give features which tell you something about the way in which the creature has adapted to its biome. Okay, has it, is, it, is it camouflaged? What defense has it got? How does its color help? Has it got a secret weapon like the amazing bombardier beetle? So another thing about that, it's up to you now.